हेलो गाइस व्हाट्स अप विद सारे ऑफिस वीडियो होंगे सो दिस इज गाइस जगमीत सिंह सो वेलकम टू जगमीत सिंह द YouTube चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मोस्ट हॉट टॉपिक दैट यू पुट इन माय डीएमस यू फ्लडेड विद देम एंड यू पुट इन द कमेंट्स इज दैट द माय एक्सपीरियंस बीइंग अ मास्टर कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट एट लेखड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी सो गाइस जस्ट टू जस्ट टू लेट यू नो दैट आई डिडंट कंप्लीट द मास्टर टिल नाउ आई विल बी आई एम इन द लास्ट ईयर आई विल बी डन विद माय मास्टर्स बाय अप्रैल सो but today as it was requested by a lot of guys so i'm going to be talking about this that how was my experience till now in the master computer science so guys just for uh, just before that i'm going to give you the, some brief information about like how the master computer science thing works in in lekhad university i don't know about others though so guys there are two type of ma- masters that been offered all over the canada is the course based and the thesis based but now they have like every university where is something like because this the booming things are coming up as ai and stuff so they start having putting the different kind of uh, master with that i mean there's one that lake had just started is the masters in ai specialization and then there's one more that's coming is the project based and the course but they have separated that so guys when i came here in the fall 19 it was not like that i it was like differently because i was there was only two masters that time that were thesis based and the course based so in thesis and a course there are two different things okay so in the thesis one you have to complete like five subjects out of the three three are mandatory subjects that you have to complete i will tell you after that so there is a in the thesis you have to complete like five subjects and then there is a thesis that you have to complete and the thesis is always in the supervision of the professor so eventually the thesis guys is what they do is that they have the graduate assistantship as well that you can get easily from them so these guys can get graduate assistantship that will like some grant some money from the lake and they also get the teaching assistantships for them that help them to pay some bills because they were getting the money from their different uh, university and all so that these guys get the money from the uh, from the professor with their whom they are working for their research projects and all and end up having a uh, and end up with this their thesis then eventually they land up with the phd stuff and then later on they go for the lectureship or like in research kind of field so guys this basically for the who want to do research in the computer science because it's being like you know booming everywhere new things are coming up every day the new research papers are coming every day so this how they works in the thesis thing but guys if you want if i talk about the course bit that i am in is that it is just the the curriculum of the course bit is is like mainly just that uh, you do the course you do some requirements of the course and boom you done with your masters and then you have to go for the industry and directly start for the jobs and all what you have to do so guys uh, do like most of the guys are in the course which is that you have to complete eight subjects in the in the span of five terms to six terms you can't do your master less than five terms or you can't do your master more than six terms there will be only five terms or the six terms according to how how you you know doing the subjects and all so you have to do eight subjects you, you are only allowed to do three subjects up a semester So yes, guys, there's a three subjects that you can do one semester. So three in the fall, three in the winter. Then there will be six subjects already done. Then in in the when we come the summer, so summer is divided into two two months of semester like May, June, and July, August. So in May and June you have the one mandatory subject that was the uh, ethical issues and all in computer science. It's basically like the human value and professional ethics that we have to have in uh, undergrad as well. And in the spring thing, there is, there is July and August. Then there is a subject that you can be offered and all. So it's not like that you have to have do it in the spring, but there are three subjects you have to do it. That is a graduate seminar in the fall, a research methodology in the winter, and there is a ethical issue in the summer. These three subjects are mandatory. That has to be done by every one of them. Either the guys in the thesis base, either the guys in the course base. So the rest of the eight sub- remaining like five subjects you have to complete in your way, like you know. I done in three in the fall. I done then two in the winter. Then so five. Then there is one in ethical issue that was in the summer, and in the spring I completed some money. So I had health informatics, and that done with my seven subjects. I'm right now in the left with one subject that I'm doing within this fall, and side by side there is a one project that has to be done by the course based guys, and this subject in the course based the thing is like that you have to do. I mean the the project gonna be of like two semesters that be either in the fall or the winter like whatsoever your time things going on because some of the guys go for the co-op placements and all so after like about like co-op thing I will talk about in the next video about this but today I'm gonna talk about this only. So guys, computer science. I could say that most of the guys I'm I've seen in the Lake are mostly the guys who from India doing the masters computer science. So guys, I. 
so far experience is okay okay is not that good or that interesting and it's like quite things few but let me clear some things out i i received an email just before few days back they're saying that we have the the things are often like masters in ai specialization by the, by the computer science department like it so guys just to let you clear guys, there are only three of two or three subjects as computer security cyber security stuff then there is a wireless and then there is one more subject that i can't remember right now is uh, uh, cyber security and there's only two subjects right the security and the wireless these two are the only which are not related to the machine learning and ai rest all of the subjects are related to machine learning either that subject is big data machine learning deep learning or you could say computer vision or you could say uh, pattern recognition or you could say i mean uh, health informatics that would be offered in the spring or something like that and these all are based on the ai stuff so better like so i'll say that the uh, you can select according to your choice so this is all this thing going on right now and talking about the project and the course base so maybe in the course they don't have that thing called a project but in the project you have to do it and i also came to know that the course i in project or the course is either one of them is just one year so i'll suggest try to do the course that is of two years because that eventually help you to land up to the three years of work permit so i suggest you according to that because we guys everyone is doing the course based masters right now and the our program is of 20 months it can be extended up to 24 months it can be extended up further if you have the co-op thing so and as i told you co-op i will tell you in the next video so this is how the things work in the master computer science and guys if i talk about difficulty level it's not it's not like difficult kind of thing because it can be done initially it would be you know a little bit stress because you just enter up in the new uh, new education system you have that plagiarism thing to do uh, to be think on and you have that uh, coding stuff then you have to do the gpu and they have to go through the research papers and all because i know i don't know about other one but i use what i i have done my undergrad is i just copying from one guy who does the stuff and that's all is just copying him is can't be done over here guys you can copy you can take the you can say a reference from different articles and all kind of stuff but you have to cite it in the end that yes you have taken some stuff reference from some of this kind of research paper so there's how things work for the master computer science here and guys every subject has the project work like for every like even if you do some any subject so at the end you have to do some projects for the for one project it, it can be either in the group or it can be either by individually i mean you most of the person do the group in the, most of the professor do with the group thing but if the class size is too small then they have to do it by individually and guys trust me it can be done initially but i will suggest you to don't drop the subjects just after coming try to do the three subjects i mean the five, total of five subjects in the fall and the winter because things get easy after that i mean if you can try do the six as well but don't make it like i suggest you like don't i'm also like you know uh, it's kind of difficult for me as well right now like you know one subject because in the project you have a lot of work to do guys like because it's, it's gonna be long for the two semesters and they have the stuff professor the, who gonna be supervise you it's gonna be like a um, lot of work so try to do the like try to complete the spring by the all the six or like eight subjects by spring or less or just be at it like only one subject that is the first semester of the course of the project thing so this is how the master computer science is guys and also if i talk about uh, you say the exams and kind of stuff so guys more like they like most of the professor only bear it up to like uh, assignment things i uh, in my uh, right now i'm in the machine learning and only have five assignments the coding assignments oh it's going to be hard though yeah so five coding assignments and then there was as well as uh, you have to do that uh, i mean the project in the end so things is going to be tough i would say but you have like it can be done guys it can be done you can easily cope up with the things with knowing and because when you do when you because when you start searching on the google or google has a solution for everyone you don't have to copy you just have to get the reference from it so there's a difference between that you know right so get the reference from it and then eventually you'll end up with a good solution and you'll have the like you have the assignments will be done by you so this is all about the master computer science guys and uh, and one more thing guys you are a lot in the in the if i talking about the marking scheme of that so you are getting marks like the percentage wise and you are not allowed to have less than 60% in the whole master there is an aggregate thing because otherwise you will be expelled from the university 
and there is one more thing is that you are only allowed to have the marks in from 60 to 70 in kind of range in your masters in two subjects only otherwise you have to have 70 above percentage in every subject and don't worry guys you can easily get it just just cope up with the like you know just start doing your assignments and uh, done with the because uh, most of the professor do with the coding stuff they help you they want you to do the research and whatever is their research paper do it in the coding that's all they want so then eventually will help you getting marks till now i get i didn't get any subject i scored 60 percent maybe i don't know about this semester but yeah <laughs> so yeah so guys try to do that in the put in the 70s and all and then there is a for the cop uh, there is also percentage requirement that is of 80 but i will tell a whole video about this on the next video like how you can find the cop how you have to linkedin and stuff i will tell you how i didn't get the cop or i mean there's a bunch of work in that so i'll like explain in another video so this is all about the master computer guys i know this was a short video and i was talking so fast just because i was getting so much dms i just want to shoot the video right now because i'm heading to work after that so this is all about video thank you guys like share subscribe and also put the bell notification on and guys if you want any like uh, something like this to be for another subject like for business for mechanical or engineering or whatever you have so just put in the comment section or I, uh, you can also dm me my instagram will be already shown on the, somewhere on the screen so you can always put message me over there i can definitely help someone because i know some people who are doing in the different kind of research fields in different courses and all even the forestry and i'll put them in my video and try to you know interview them and i'll ask the questions so guys it's all i all about this thank you have a nice day guys see ya